Welcome to Randolph Macon. My name is McCray Fiddler. I'm a sophomore here from Fredericksburg, Virginia, studying business management and communication studies. Throughout the course of our tour today, we're going to offer you some different programs and insights into the life here at Randolph Macon College. We're excited that you're here to join us. So come on, let's go. Hi, my name is Almero Henning. I'm a sophomore from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm a double major in computer science and accounting with a minor in cybersecurity. And today I'm going to talk to you about our alumni walkway. So right over here, as you can see, this is our alumni wa walkway. And before I talk about them, I want to talk about our amazing alum alumni we have here on campus. First of all, they love us and we love having them around us on campus. Um, not only as a student here at Randolph Macon do you kind of build and grow on the community over your four years, but when you graduate at the end of your four years, you actually get a break. And not only do you continue on your legacy from the impact you left on your campus, but you actually continue to grow our, our um, campus as a whole. And that's really kind of a lovely metaphor that I love about our campus. Um, so two things to take away. We love our alumni here at Randolph Macon and our alumni love us. Hello, I'm Katie Lee. I'm a psychology major with a double minor in Asian Studies and Religious Studies, and I am currently standing in Brock Commons. Brock Commons is our indoor center of campus, and here you will find two of our three dining locations. So over here we have Build Your Own Burger and Mondo Subs, where you'll find great lunch and dinner options. Things like sandwiches, wraps, um, and salads are found over there. And then as we walk this way around this corner, you will see Greenberry's Coffee, which is a great um, breakfast, lunch, or dinner option. It's a nice um, place to stop by maybe before your 8 a.m. class to pick up a bagel or a piece of fruit or some yogurt. And then as we walk around this way, you will see our student mail room. Our students can come here to pick up packages and mail. So if you send your student a care package, they would come here to pick it up. And our students actually keep the same mailbox all four years. And then as we walk around this way, you can see our campus store. If you ever want to come pick up some Randolph Macon merchandise, you would come here um, to get some awesome yellow jacket gear. Welcome to our 24-hour room here on campus. As the name suggests, this room is open 24-hour to our students here on campus. Our library does have regular business hours, so really, um, this is kind of the room to get comfortable later in the evening as well to try and get your work done for us. As we're going to go through here, I'm going to talk about um, some of the library resources we have. So first off, I want to talk about our library advisors. Our library advisors are critical to our library system here. They are, expert, they are experts in different levels of um, academics, and so really, if you are going to come in and do your projects and things like that, and research papers, these are really the types of people you want to go talk to and really kind of get a broad based understanding of what you're doing before you get to that, um, before you get to that time. Um, our communication center is really a wonderful part for us here on campus. This is where our student, um, student tutors really kind of work on the fine edges of our gram grammatical structure, um, peer-reviewed essays, really kind of peer-reviewed um, presentations as well, kind of do rough off the edges and really kind of get you perfectly settled for your presentations in class. We're going to take a walk over to the Higgins Academic Center and kind of talk about um, how they work to support our students here on campus. I'm also involved in the new student transition camp, um, program here on campus, so I'm a captain as well. I'm really taking um, the time to get um, involved with students from the day they set foot on campus and really kind of get them situated on campus um, from the moment they step um, foot on the campus. They also work with students with disabilities here on campus, so really um, that's the office you're going to be working with, making sure that each student has an equal opportunity. Um, and also our peer-reviewed um, our, our peer -reviewed, um, tutors. So essentially that every subject that's taught on campus has a designated tutor for that and that's really a great resource to have because it breaks down the barrier between students and really kind of works on how students are going to get engaged with each other from that front. These students are recommended by their, by their professors and really the best of the best when it comes to these um, subjects. Last but not least, we're going to talk about our library makerspace. The library makerspace is an awesome addition they added a couple of years ago. This In this space we have four um, 3D printers, we have a laser engraver, we have computers running i9 i5 processors, really kind of going to get down to our video simulation as well as virtual reality opportunities we have here on campus. So really um, top of the line technology that we have available to our students right here on campus. Hello everyone, my name is Maya O'Brien. I'm a sophomore here from Arlington, Virginia. I'm a communication studies major and the Besides being a tour guide, I'm also an ambassador here. So the building we're standing in right now is an extension of our science building. Um, this is Brock Junior Hall, so the departments taught in here um, are more of our lab-based classes as well as our environmental studies department is taught in here as well. Um, this building, it, in addition to Copley Science Center, make up our science department. Um, Copley Science Center, again, is focused on lab courses, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, um, classes like that as well as computer science and psychology um, and that is the extension of our sciences here. 
So as a residential campus, one thing we really like to do in our tours is actually incorporate a room that, um, for you to be able to take a look at. Um, all of our rooms for freshmen year are in fact a standard room. So regardless of where you live, you'll actually end up having much of the same um, room experience. So uh, right now we're actually in Olin right now, and we're actually going to take a look at one of these rooms for you right now. Um, this is an actual student's room. Um, these are, uh, this is a showroom we have here on campus. And one thing I want to point out to you is that all uh, freshman um, rooms will in fact be the same, regardless if you live in Andrews, which is our newest freshman housing option, or if you live in any of our other um, freshman options here on campus. Um, all the furniture is very standard. We have our desk, we have our dresser, and we have our closet right there. Um, one thing that's a little bit different is your um, options with fridge and a microwave. So one option you have is, of course, to talk to with your roommate and kind of get a middle ground saying, I'll bring the fridge, you bring the microwave. Or you can actually rent the unit from the school, which means it'll be in your room when you arrive, and they'll take care of it when you leave. Um, other than that, the sky's the limit. You can decorate it as you would like. You can kind of take a look at how you want to loft your beds, put your desk underneath if you would like to lower your bed and have your desk outside of that. That is all up to you and how you decorate it and work with your roommate on that. Um, roommate option selections are absolutely amazing. Um, I went through the randomization process during the time and I really, really like my time with my um, roommate that I had. Um, we are great friends now and actually something I would have um, missed if I came in knowing somebody. That being said, if you know someone, you can always designate that on your housing selection. So really, either way you go, you'll be, you'll be good. So um, yeah, this is our residential room right here in Olin. Hi, my name is Jordan Shear and I'm a sophomore from Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm a Communication Studies major and an Education minor, and besides being a tour guide, I'm on the women's swim team. So here we are at the Brock Center. This is our main athletic facility on campus, which has a bunch of great amenities for students. The first being this amazing gym, which has great cardio equipment, like bikes and treadmills, as well as free weight equipment. Um, so anything that you could think of that you would need for a great workout. The gym is open from 6.30 a.m. until 11 p.m., so you have plenty of time to get in your workout throughout the day, whether you're an early riser or you are a night owl and like to work out at night. Besides the um, gym in there, we also have some basketball courts. We have three full-length basketball courts, which students are able to use for recreational use, as well as an upstairs track, which is full length, so if you like to go for a run, you can do that as well. There are even more amenities as well in the Brock Center. We have um, some racquetball courts that are open for students to use, as well as a newly added golf simulator. Um, the golf simulator is open to students when the golf team is not practicing and using it. Another great thing that we have at the Brock Center is a pool. And this is where I spend a lot of my time as I am on the swim team. This is our pool. It is six lengths, six lanes, um, 25 yard pool, which is also open to students when the swim team isn't using it, which is really only early morning. So um, students can go in the pool and use it for a workout whenever they want. Outside, um, just past the pool, we have the bird cage. And this is a newly added addition to the Brock Center. This is an outside weightlifting area, which is great to use now that it's the springtime, so students can go out there and work out. And so those are all the great amenities that we have at the Brock Center. Thank you so much for joining us on tour today. We hope you enjoy what we were able to show you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the admissions office, and we look forward to seeing you one day on campus soon.